John Lusk here of Lusk Archery Adventures, series testing, successful hunting. Today I'm going to be testing another fixed blade head by Black Widow Innovations. Thanks to a, a buddy of mine, Luke, who sent me a pack of these recluses, okay? They, they named their heads after spiders. So this is the recluse, and uh, it's a four blade head. We're going to zoom on in here and go through some of the design features and specifications and then put it to the test. And for uh, all the tests, I'm using my protocol for 2022. You can read about that in the description box below this video, as well as check out how the, uh, the head performed in each of those tests that I do. And then at the end of the video, I'll have uh, the overall cumulative score and the Lusk grade as well. I'm using my Bowtech SR6, set at 72 pounds. Bishop FOC King arrows for most of the, the shooting, uh, but then I'll use the Bishop Fat Eliminators for the really hard impact shots. So let's zoom on in here and check out the Recluse. Here's a good look at the Recluse. This is their four blade model. Now on the packaging, it says the cutting diameter is one inch, but it's actually one and one eighth inches. And then it says the total cut is two and a half inches, but actually the total cut is two and a quarter inches. So they've got kind of some issues with their packaging. And also on that note, they say that the ferrule on the front side of the packaging, it says the ferrule is made out of A2 tool steel, but on the back of the packaging, it says it's made out of aluminum. So I think they're still trying to iron out some kinks in their marketing of their packaging. But it, it is a four blade broadhead and it does have two and a quarter inches of total cut because it's one and one eighth inch both ways. The blades are 0.035 inches thick and they're sharpened on the front and on the back. The tip is A2 tool steel and I really like that in a broadhead application because it has a little bit more than double the impact resistance uh, as compared to typical stainless steel. That's going to make that tip extra strong. And I think they're probably right on the front of their packaging when they say this ferrule is made out of A2 tool steel as well. I think they, they just were incorrect in saying aluminum on the back. Now, what I really like about these heads as well is they come with an extra set of chisel tips and these, ch these extra chisel tips transform this from a 100 grain head to a 125 grain head. And I like that not only for the modularity that you have two different weight heads you can use in the same package, but this is a lot beefier and more durable than this one. It's just, you know, bigger and it's going to punch a, a better hole and it's going to, you know, pack a wallop a little bit more than this one is. And so I like when you're adding the weight, you're not just doing it by putting a washer in the back of the broadhead, but you're putting it up front that's going to increase your FOC all the more and it's going to make it more durable. So really good design with that. Now, one of the things I don't like about some of these heads is the tolerances. And this one, like one of the other heads I tested by them, everything is tightened down as tight as it can go, but the blades really rattle. And in this one, all four of them do that. So there's some kind of tolerance issue that's going on there. Maybe if I uh, tried each of the blades in each of the different heads, I could remediate that, you know, and fix that. But this is the way they came and they're rattling like that. So that's not uh, a strength of it. Hopefully they'll be able to fix that. And maybe this was just a fluke in the package. But let's, uh, let's see how this head performs. Two hundred. It penetrated seven and a half inches. Two seventy five. It penetrated through sixty three layers. It's still in perfect shape after three shots through the MDF. 
Here's the head after two shots through the steel plate. And after the first shot, there was a bit of nicking in the blades and that continued on the second shot. But on the second shot, one of the blades broke off as well. So unfortunately, it won't be able to go on to the concrete round. And here's the hole that it made in the steel plate. And you can see it's not the square kind of hole that you get from a really thick ferrule like in the tooth of the arrow, but it's more uh, just a round hole with four slits coming off of it. So what do you think of the recluse? Hey, you know, I've really enjoyed testing all three of these uh, spider models from Black Widow Innovations. They're six blade and they're three blade and they're four blade. And this four blade uh, certainly had its strengths. It flew decently, not as forgiving as some fixed blades heads, but, but overall pretty good. It penetrated really well for a cut of its size. My biggest concern about it uh, is the quality control. And you know, when the packaging is, is incorrect, okay, about the, the cut size or about the materials and so forth, when there's contradictory information on each side of the package, that's kind of a problem. And then when the blades are loose and all of them were just loose and couldn't get really snug, uh, that, that was a problem. So that, that's my biggest concern with them. And then also the, the way that the blades are held in place. You saw that one of them came out in the steel plate, but also when you're trying to put them together, man, it's really hard to keep them uh, all together. It's so easy for them to fall out. So those are my two biggest critiques of it. But overall, it performed really well. Now you check out the, the score sheet in the description box right below this video, and you'll see the scores uh, after I describe each task. I'll put the scores of the recluse in there in parentheses, and you can see how it did in the areas that matter to you the most.